especially love how reading actually contributes nothing to solving the situation. The only information it purportedly contributes is that certain phrases are associated with cowboys. Which you'd probably pick up from a movie, not books. Got a magic gun. Yeah, I, I do, but I'll be taking that. Okay, okay. No need to worry. Here it is. Hey, you have a magic gun? Where'd you purchase that? It's explosions in this box, but nothing's actually blown up. What the hell's this dimension made out of? Give it up! You can't hope to stop me! I'm just gonna keep coming at you! Keep on attacking, and bring hell down on you! Eventually your defense will be weakened! Your reserves will be gone! There is no hope for you! And I'll take your weapon, and leave you to suffer this- Nimoy, unleash so the new Cybermat on him. this! I am so tired of assholes coming into my home and doing this! You think I'm afraid of you? You think I care about your backstory? I have fought conquerors, robots, and monsters, and I have been victorious every time! There is nothing that can stop me now! Nothing! What did I do? Okay, please tell me you guys have made some progress. Well, kid, here's the thing. All the tools you gave us to try to fix your magic piece? None of it's working. What? Let me see that. It's a toy. Eh? It's... It's just a toy again! Yeah, I was going to ask about that. None of this stuff seems to be the real things that you use. Poyo! Scan this! Just plastic and paint. But isn't this your ionizer? It is. Kid, what's the lowdown? I see you use this crap all the time. It works. It's supposed to. Syndromony! Kid, what the hell are you doing? That... That should have at least created a spark or something! I don't understand. Haven't you guys ever wondered how I have all this working technology from like Pokemon and Star Trek and all that just lying around the apartment? I don't know, I just figured you knew people. It's magic! It's, it's always been magic! An enchantment called The Image Becomes Reality, I, I think. The translation's kind of iffy. If it's executed properly, the representation of an object becomes the actual object. I do it on my toys because it's the closest representation I have to the real thing. What, really? Th then why the hell haven't you ever made a little box with a button on it that said, destroy Mechakara forever and ever, or some crap like that? It just doesn't work like that. 
Hell, I don't even fully comprehend the rules to this stuff. And even on the stuff I do have, it's tricky. It took me ten times to perform the spell before I got a working phaser. The Xeonizer took months of work, because while the spell worked the first time, there's no universal morphing grid for this thing to access and give superpowers. Hell, I'm still trying to get the spell to work right on my dual disc. Though that might be because I don't have the hand grip for the thing. I did try it out on a Yu-Gi-Oh card, though, just to test it. What happened? This. I don't think the spell likes being used on stuff with text on it. So all this magic crap means that none of your weapons work? Well, I suppose anything that I didn't originally enchant would work. But there's a bigger problem than that. What do you mean? He means this apartment itself is no longer safe. I have a low-level protection spell in place on the whole apartment. I'm not strong enough or skilled enough to protect people, but the apartment itself is safe. You could shoot guns or detonate a bomb, and it would not matter. The apartment itself would remain standing. I started casting it a few years ago after that Star Trek comic came to life and tried to kill me. If this mysterious gunslinger decides to pay another visit, we could find ourselves homeless very quickly. Yeah, but I'm more worried about the person who's already home. The little girl inside of this thing considers me her friend, her partner. Whenever I use this thing, I can just hear her whispering inside my ear. If the gun's not firing, I think something may have happened to her. Damn it, doesn't anybody have any good news? And as usual, it is up to science to save the day. What have you got, Doc? Everything on board Comicron 1 is functioning just fine, including its sensors. In fact, the computers have just finished a thorough analysis of the magic gun. And? Nothing, I'm afraid. There's still magic inside of it as much as any other time. As far as we can tell, it's perfectly fine. Then why does nothing magical around here work? I've been considering that, actually. It's almost as if the magic was being suppressed, as if something in a specific area was keeping the magic from being utilized. What, like, like some kind of anti-magic feat? You think that- Oh yes, I do. Well then. I think we should go pay Dr. Insano a little visit. Do oh, for the love of Heidegger! Sabrina's a cheating harlot! Yeah. Better not be Joe again. Damn. Generator kit. Who did you sell it to? I haven't sold one of those in months. Not since they discovered the defect against blitz balls. Damn it! Then who disabled all my magic? Well, I don't know. I'm a scientist. Wait a minute. If your magic's not working, why are you threatening me with a magic gun? Because I can still beat you to death with it. If I find out that you were lying to me, <laughs> you'll be eating those goggles. Yes, yes, I understand. Magic isn't working, is it? <laughs> How do you know that it isn't someone that he sold it to months ago? I don't know, it's just a gut feeling I have. If they had gotten an anti-magic field generator kit months ago, why did they wait until now to attack? I don't think this is an anti-magic field. I mean, if it was, it would have to be one hell of a powerful one to affect me while I was going to see Insano. Okay, so we're back to square one. Aside from a good old reliable Tommy gun, is there anything we have around here that we can use to defend ourselves in case Mr. Longhead decides to come a-knockin' again? 
Well, I suppose we do still have the BFG. I mean, that wasn't magic. Uh, yeah, about that. I, I kind of emptied the power cells by shooting into the air in celebration of Youngblood getting revived, dude! You what?! 90s kid, I can wring your neck! Kid! 90s kid, I I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. This whole thing is starting to get to me. I shouldn't have told Insano that my magic wasn't working. Don't worry about it. Comicron 1 is keeping a very close eye on him. Just like it's keeping a close eye on this place in case the gunslinger comes back. Just like its sensors are continuing their scans for anything that could be causing all this. Just like all the other millions of things that the ship does on an everyday basis. Nimue doesn't have infinite computer resources. We're already putting a strain on the ship. Link Sano, haven't you had any more luck in tracking down the problem? I'm afraid not. Lord Vice was very thorough in his databanks, cataloging various aspects of magic. Hell, raw magical energy is one of the fuel sources of Comicron 1. But his data is based on magic from other universes, with different physical laws. It doesn't necessarily work the same way that it does here. In addition, I'm only beginning to learn this stuff. It could take months or years before I've accumulated enough expertise to be of any help to you. You need an expert in this magic crap, and I am not that expert. Actually, I think I may know someone I can call. Great art and terrific stories, Gold Digger is awesome, and anyone who refuses to read even a single issue is a no-good dirty commie. I have to take this, excuse me. Hello? Oh, hey, LAG. Uh, by any chance, is Cloak number one around? Oh, yeah, just a second. Uh, let me put you on video. Hey, lardass, get off my couch and answer the phone. Greetings, traveler. Yeah, hi. Um, I guess you know who this is. Yes. Yes, I do. What do you want? Well, first of all, I, I want to give my sincere apologies about shooting you last year. Not only that, but I lost my job thanks to you reviewers. There aren't a lot of openings for magical beings to god ancient mystical artifacts. Most of those are tenured positions, and those guys live for thousands of years. I'm only a temp now. Yeah, life's tough all over. I need some information. Why should I help you? Help me out, and you can use me as a reference when you're job hunting. Oh, that certainly makes up for everything. I'll pay you. Much better. What do you need to know? I recently encountered an individual with another magic gun. After the fight, every single magical item I owned or enchanted went dead. Every attempt I've made to revitalize them have failed. Could this guy have put a curse on me or something? Possible. Certain very powerful magic users have been known to create curses that strong. And you say every magical item you use is disabled? Well, not exactly. Every item that I appropriated from someone else works just fine. Ah, then it's directed around your magic specifically. I can't help you there, I'm afraid. Then what am I supposed to do? If it is truly a curse upon you, you're not nearly experienced enough in magic to remove it, and neither am I. You need to seek out those whose magic is beyond any normal person. The wizards and witches, the sorcerers and sorceresses who have been around for thousands of years. Where can I find them? No idea. That's for you to work out, I'm afraid. I understand Malachite is working at a coffee shop in Wisconsin. Maybe that would help. Okay. Thank you for all your help. I'll PayPal you ten bucks. Very well. Sucker. I would have told him for five. Kid, this is one of the dumbest ideas I've ever heard! You're just gonna start walking around with no idea where you're going and just hope you stumble onto something! You got no weapons, no clue where to start looking, and all of this because someone who tried to kill you last year said it would be a good idea! Kid, this is nuts! Well, to answer your first point, I've got Link Sano working on some gadgets to help me out with my little journey, including a new gun that I can carry around. As for where to start looking, I'm going to head north first. Comicron 1 has picked up a few hot spots of magic, which could be a sorcerer or two that I'm looking for. And as for Cloak number 1? Well, 
He and the other cloaks meant well, and we were the assholes going around trying to get Malachite's hand. Speaking of Mr. I'm named after a rock, are you really gonna go talk to him? I haven't decided yet. I don't think he'd be in a particularly helpful mood anyway. You're still gonna be traveling alone with nobody to watch your back! Well, it's not entirely true. I'm bringing one of the Mark II Cybermats with me. I figure it could come in handy. <laughs> Who ordered science?! Ooh, does somebody have new toys for me to play with? Indeed! First, here's a wrist communicator. I didn't have a lot of time to come up with a lot of functions, so we're keeping it simple. It's tied in directly to Comicron 1. Press the red button once, say who you want to talk to, and Nimue will direct the call to them. Hit the button again to close the channel. Hold down the button for three seconds to initiate an emergency teleport to get you out of any trouble you've gotten yourself into. And the gun? That's proven a little trickier. I've gotten it to work, but you can't adjust how powerful it is. Keep at it. If we need to, I'll go even without a weapon. Kid, what about your show? Are you just gonna leave people hanging for a few months? Or do you expect me to fill your shoes again while you're gone? Don't worry, I've thought of that. The Emergency Reviewing Hologram. It's already based on a scan of my personality and memories, so it'll be like I'm writing the review anyway. Can't you at least wait until after your 200th episode? Or are you just gonna let some hologram do that milestone for you? I filmed the 200th episode in advance already. Besides, if I'm traveling around, maybe I can premiere it at a convention or something. But kid, I really- Harvey! Don't... I know you're worried about me, but this is the only way. I'm gonna find a way to fix my magic. Somewhere out there is someone who can help me. And I need to find them before it's too late. Are you sure you don't want everyone else around for this? Trust me, it's for the best. They would just try to tell me yet again to not leave. They're right. You shouldn't leave until you are more prepared. I have a warship in orbit with the most advanced scanning equipment tracking me. I know you'll come get me if I need help. And what about my new body? The hologram is going to be working on that while I'm gone. Don't worry, I have planned for everything. Then good luck. Thanks, buddy. I'm coming back, and when I do, everything will be okay. The first day of my journey brings me south, when I'm supposed to be going north. Yeah, I probably should buy a map. I find myself at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds for the comic convention SpringCon. Perhaps here I can locate some individuals who can assist me in my quest. Alright, so that's my magic gun, guys. Is there anything you can do for it? Well, I, uh, I guess we could draw on it. Uh, pow right across it. Yeah, I, I, I can, uh, I can uh, make some funny stuff for it. Uh, put in, like, a, a zombie there or, uh, you know, like... Wait, wait, aren't you guys scientists? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're, we're cartoonists. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Uh. While the webcomic creators were of no help, I take the opportunity to meet with some fans and tell anecdotes to them of how things are going with my life. The thing I understand about Snowflame is that he's just so annoying every single time he comes in. Hey, I want to steal your shoes. Hey, I want to steal your show. It just gets kind of irritating after a while. And I know the guy is having drug problems, and I put him through rehab like three or four times now. I just can't stand it anymore. And you know what? You know what? I, I just try to do the hardest that I can. And that was the last time I stole a traffic cone. <laughs> but anyway, so I filled it up with gravy, and 
then I just try to kind of marinate it with a bunch of cheese and whatnot. And you would be surprised how good a marinated cheese gravy dish really goes. And you know what? You know what the best part was? It turned out that she was a hairstylist. <laughs> oh, you should have been there. The purpose of my journey is to find experts in the field of magic, or at least the paranormal. And fortunately, such individuals were nearby. Okay guys, so that's the story of my magic gun. Is there anything you can do to help me? Uh, no, yeah, sorry. sorry. Alright, thanks anyway. Uh, you have good work. Thank you. Thanks. Still, in spite of my setbacks, I try to keep an open mind for other individuals who think they may be able to help. While my devices aren't working, other people may have devices that could assist. No, 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 use the red setting! It's important to keep a level head during these situations. In my line of work, it's easy to lose yourself in depression or ramble on and on about things that nobody cares about. The important thing is to keep yourself in control at all times and never do anything to embarrass yourself. Now the thing about Shale and Active God is that they get Booster Gold's character wrong. They think he's just about the money. He doesn't care about actually helping people. He's just like, oh, I just want the fame and fortune. And, you know what I just realized? You, you probably don't even know who the heck I'm talking about. Who are you anyway? My name is Dan Jurgens, the creator of Booster Gold. And the problem with Blue Beetle these days is... My quest continues. Hopefully, I'll figure out what direction north is. Hello, little Cyber Matt. You're so cute. I love you. You're gonna be mine forever, and I'll keep you in a kid. Mine. Oh, yeah. My journey continues. After having left SpringCon, which was south of my intended destination, I proceed on the correct path towards... It. Wait, is this another convention? Anna Minneapolis? Oh, for crying out loud! This is friggin' Bloomington! I've gone farther south! Well, still, I need to make the most of this experience. And by make the most of it, I mean contemplate further. There is much to learn from the gentle folk of the cosplayers. They are an innocent people, unaware of who I am. Hey! It's Lee Carl! What's up? Cosplayers generally ignore people, since they're used to seeing all sorts of strange oddities. They do not frighten, and they never try to converse with you. Sir, I'm gonna please have to ask you. You would think a convention of this sort would be teeming with magical individuals, but I only found one. So yeah, that's my situation. My magic gun is disabled, and I figured you, with all your Millennium magic and all that, might know something about it. Can you be of any assistance? Well, unfortunately, guns do not exist in my time. Right, they're all invisible. Exactly. Alright, thanks anyway, sir. <laughs> my visit to this strange place was short, but I feel I've learned much. And of course, the thing I appreciate most about occasions like this are the people. Journey Log, Week 3. Okay, I think I need to buy a damn compass. Despite the setbacks caused by these little detours, I still feel like I'm accomplishing a lot. Living out in the wilderness and broken lands without civilization around you. You need to really get your act together, think on your feet. After all, you have to fend for yourself. Admittedly, I can communicate with Comicron 1 and get food or shelter if I need to, but luckily it, it hasn't come to that yet. In my travels, I take care to not forget that there is evil afoot, and that must be dealt with. Corporate Commander here, for some reason my face is censored because I sort of look like someone- OH MY FACE! 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 And being out in the wilderness like this, naturally I must live off the land, however it may provide. I've run into the native peoples, too and they have taught me much about their ways and customs. You gonna eat that? Eat two of it. Mine. 
I swear to God, if I end up in Texas next week, I'm gonna take my chances and just teleport to Canada. Because really, this is getting silly. I am so lost. Well, we made it, people. 200 episodes. So what can I possibly review for such an occasion? Okay, what the hell. Let's review one more day. Now, before we get into the book itself, there's a lot of backstory to cover here. So I think it's necessary. Hello, Linkara. It is I, the devil. Oh, hi, Bennett. Not Bennett, the devil. I have come to you with an offer to- To exchange my soul or my show or my non-existent marriage to erase one more day, right? Well, yeah, I- Not interested! Goodbye! Ugh, come on, man. I went and put on the outfit. Can you play out the bit? The bit is dead, Bennett! Not to mention, the deal doesn't take place for another three issues! You can make the offer again when it actually comes up in the comic! Oh, okay, see you then. You know, recently there was a rumor that Marvel was doing its own reboot to compete with the one DC did last year. They're not, of course. They're just releasing a whole bunch of new number ones. But you know what? Maybe they should reboot Spider-Man. After all, if the creative teams are unwilling to let him get out of his high school life, then why the hell isn't he still there? Hello, Linkara. Last angry geek? No, it's Coke number one. Oh, right, you're a different character from him. People have been confused about that. They think that's confusing? Why am I suddenly one of your bad guys when you weren't even in the group I was harassing in Suburban Nights? Wouldn't it make more sense if I were this guy? I am a creature of the ancient world. I demand respect! Wait, 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 what the hell is that? Well, Spoonie destroyed my original one, and this is my backup. Who oh, get out, get out! Anyway, Linkara, I've got an offer to make to you. I can make one more day disappear forever, and then- Sure you can! And if one more day never existed, that would mean I never did a crossover with The Last Angry Geek about one moment in time, right? Uh, I'll call you back. Ha ha ha! Bullcrap! Not only has Doctor Strange healed people before without it being magical in nature, but in one moment in time, the follow-up to One More Day, he heals Mary Jane, who was injured by another assassin! Where the hell have you been? It's been like a year. But no! We are now halfway into the story and have achieved nothing that we didn't already know! But now it's time for part three, where the girl with red hair appears to him. Hello, Linkara. You might not be able to make one more day have a point, but I can. So mysterious. Ooh. Lupa. Ooh. Ooh. Lupa. What? You've been doing that for ten minutes. Is there a reason that you called? Yes, but you're not at the point of the comic yet for me to explain. I'm a busy guy. Can't you just do it now? Yeah, I can tell you're really busy breaking that promise you made to never review this. I'll let you get to it and then call you back later. Yep, there sure was a point in Mephisto looking like a woman in red for four pages just so he could tell Peter about alternate possibilities. Oh man, there was such a point in all of that. It was so pointy. Okay, I'm back now. Oh, joyous day. Ooh, Linkara, there are an infinite number of possibilities your life could have taken had you not started reviewing comics. 
Is there one where I'm not being bothered? Because I'd love to hear about that one. Ooh, shut the hell up and listen. Ooh, this is what your life would have been like if you decided to review horror movies instead. Boy, it sure is glorious reviewing horror movies, but I would trade it all just for one comic book. That doesn't make any sense! Okay, that was a bad example. Uh, let's try this again. Um, what if you reviewed sci-fi movies? Oh man, my life is just so great because I review sci-fi films instead of comics. In fact, I don't even know what a comic book is. Okay, this just doesn't work. I mean, I'm actually a really big comics fan too. In fact, I just bought the new issue of Green Lantern Corps. Okay, fine. We'll get some other science fiction reviewer. Wait, where's the picture? Picture? There is no picture. Cameras steal your soul. This is all you're getting. But you're really happy because you don't review comic books, right? Who are you? I think we're done here, Lupa. Wait, 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 wait. I can show you the future. <laughs> this is really cool. Ooh, this is what your life will be like if you continue to review comics. I miss my old hat. Oh, how truly dreadful! And what does my future hold if I stopped reviewing comics? I need a new hat. So, Lupa, if you're the girl with red hair, does that mean you're my future daughter? I'm not talking to you anymore. Ugh! God, this story! It just pisses me off so much every time I think about it! I just wish that sometimes I could undo it, make it so it never happened! I've existed since the morning of the world, and I shall exist until the last star falls from the night. Although I have taken the form of Caligula's Snobulus, Stop. I am all men as I am Stop. no man, and therefore Stop. I am... What? What the hell are you doing? I'm doing the Caligula thing. Why? Because it's your 200th episode. Aren't you reviewing the Caligula comic? No! Oh, well, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> and to think I used Lloyd's favorite blanket for this. So is now a good time to- NOT IN THE MOOD, BENNETT! Okay, I, I, I may have gotten off track there. Point is, this comic sucks and I hate it! I just- Wish it could get undone, and never have happened at all! Huh. Joel on True, Linkara. That guy with the glasses? Yep, that's me. What do you want? Why, to offer you a deal, of course. I'm listening. If you give up your little comic review show, I'll totally erase one more day from existence. You can do that? That's a very good question, and the answer is, of course I can! I'm the devil! Why, just look at this. See? Now I'm in a different place. And my beard has grown a little bit. Huh. So you are. And all you have to do is just sign that paper that's in your hand. Huh. Huh. Okay. Okay. Here you go! No chance in hell, you piece of... I can't even pronounce that. Look, I hate One More Day. That should be clear by now. But what irritates me about it the most is the complete rejection of effort. If they had just stopped and thought about how some of this stuff could have been handled, we could have had a much better story. Hell, even the deal with the devil could have been made to work. I've said how it could have been made to work, and this is not me contemplating long and hard over it. These are things that they should have thought of themselves. Instead, they took the easy route. The lazy route. Sometimes life hands you difficult problems and people feel the need to take the easy way out of them. I don't seriously want one more day just ignored. That's the easy way out. I want a solution. I want a follow-up story that expands on everything, that solves the problems created by it. I want effort. 
I want a good story. I want characters to look back at their past actions and grow from their experiences. I want them to change and evolve. There's nothing about the idea of growth that prevents good stories from being told. Everyone who buys a comic, a movie, a game, they're critics. The phrase, everybody's a critic, is used to try to brush off criticism, but it's the truth. We all hold an opinion about something. Customers are critics, because it's our money to spend and our voice to be heard. We speak out not for its own sake, but to hope that the next thing that comes along is better. And that's what I want in the end. What we all want. A better story than what we got with One More Day. So you can take that deal, that guy with the glasses, and shove it! Thanks, that guy with the hat. I haven't seen you in a while. Glad to know you still got my back. Oh, not a problem at all, Winkara. This is that guy with the hat saying, there's no such thing as a stupid question. This robe doesn't fit me anymore. I don't understand why we need to do this now. The Tom Servo body was never meant to house you, Poyo. I've already started seeing some memory fragmentation where there shouldn't be any. But you haven't finished my new hobbies yet. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on them, but this takes priority. I've built a nice temporary body you can use that's actually designed for you while I work on the others. So you have the free time to build me a new hobby in a week, but not the permanent ones? That doesn't make any sense. Alrighty, transfer complete. What do you think? It's smaller. You're a real negative Nancy, you know that? Oh, hello everybody, and welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burn. Today we're talking about a comic that's cool. Cool as ice. That was terrible. You are terrible. And my arms still don't work. Hey, 90s kid. Dude! Hey, Hollow Kara! Yeah, I've been thinking, and you know what? I don't think I appreciate the way you keep interrupting the show and coming on like that. Do you think you could stop? Dude, don't freak out! I'm slamming, man! The people watch me all the time! They love me, man! I'm the best reason to watch the show! Everyone just waits for me to say, What you see is what you do! They don't watch the show for you, idiot. Stop interrupting, or the next time you try, I won't let go of your heart until it stops beating. Hey, Harvey. You know, it's really kind of rude to refer to me like that. Hmm. You know what? It is. And you know what else is rude? Shoving your hand in someone's chest and threatening to kill them. Ah, I see you talk to 90s kid. You got a wire loose in there or something? What's wrong with you? I don't know why you're upset with me. You're the one who's always bitching about how he pisses you off. He is an idiot, but you don't go around threatening to murder people for that. And I don't want to murder him. He just needed to get the message that I was tired of him interrupting my show. You could have killed him when you pulled that stunt! Hmm. So I could have. What's your point? You're malfunctioning, you piece of garbage! You probably have been running too long and there's battery acid leaking out! Harvey, there's nothing wrong with me. Nothing at all. Don't you try to light up the tilt sign with me, nosebleed! You're coming with me to that computer chick and she's gonna give you the once-over to figure out what's wrong! Or what? Harvey, please don't embarrass yourself. Uh. 
Harvey, please don't get in my way. It'd be a shame if I had to crush your throat. I mean, how would you ever sing again? <laughs> Journey Log. While the magic signals from Canada proved to be dead ends, I did get some information at Conbravo. I was told by many that I might be able to find help from a great wizard living in the area. Several people gave me the coordinates and Nimue directed me to them. Until my communicator lost contact with the ship. I'll try to re-establish contact later. In the meantime though, what I found at the coordinates was... unexpected. Steven, it's for you. Hi there. Uh, Aplos the Wizard? Uh, I go by Steven now these days, but whatever floats your boat. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, I've been having a problem with my magic lately, and I've been told that you could help me. Okay, come on in. Have a seat. I prefer to stand. Suit yourself. This was not what I was expecting. What the hell do you want? It's 2012. There aren't a whole lot of people living in gloomy castles, standing over crystal balls and crap like that. Anyways, I'm a busy guy. What do you want? Well, a few months ago, my magic stopped working. My magic gun won't fire, and the few spells I can cast, well, they won't even sparkle. Uh-huh. Hand it over. Hmm. Oh. oh, I see. What? What is it? Shut up, idiot. I'm talking to the gun. You're what? I said shut up. What are you, as dumb as you look? Oh, he is. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll confirm it for you. Mmm, not good. What did you just... Shush! Yep, just what I thought. I uh, can't go five seconds without flapping your jaw, can you, kid? That's okay. It's kind of a trait of what this thing is. You know, I've seen this thing before. Seen what before? What the problem is. You know, the reason why your magic isn't working? Your gun figured this out already. Do you know her name's Margaret? No, I, I didn't. I've been trying to find that out for a while now. Well, of course you didn't know. You haven't unlocked Margaret's full potential. If you unlocked it and this had happened, you probably would have been too far gone. What do you mean? The problem is not with your magic. The problem is with you. What? Look, I'm going to explain this in the most direct manner I possibly can, so it can get through your thick skull to your tiny little brain. You are turning evil. Turning evil? No, I'm not! Oh, yes, you are. This isn't the first time I've seen this. You're arrogant, power hungry, and so deluded you can't even see it. You don't value the opinions of others. And your selfishness and egomania are getting to a point where you won't see anyone but yourself. This is nonsense! You're probably not even the real wizard! I bet this is all an elaborate trap to- SILENCE! It is not wise to argue with a wizard, for we have little patience and a lot of power. And in the end, it's power that's the problem. Magic is a power, but so many believe it to be a path to gaining more power. Domination over others. Massacre and murder. Just to be wicked and steal. Magic, however, is a power that can't be used for evil. What do you mean by that? Wizards, witches, and warlocks have existed for thousands of years. Tell me, how many history books have you opened up and found the dark sorcerer has taken over the world? I, I guess I just 
never thought about it. Of course, don't you know anything about magic? You're only focused on your problems. Magic is a force tied to the very being that wields it, their conscience, their mind, their very soul. It can be used in defense. It can be used to heal and help others. It cannot be used to actively or passively hurt others. A human soul knows the difference between right and wrong, even if the mind has been clouded so much that they can't tell. That didn't seem to stop Malachite. <sighs> Malachite was old when the world was young. His power was beyond anything any magic user has seen before or since. Point is, it's really rare that someone is able to break the rules like that. In fact, the times I've heard about it, I can count on one hand. What about curses or dark magic? Hell, that magic gun was forged in a terrible ritual. When that happens, they tend to be granted magic from a more powerful, dark, demonic source that doesn't exist in this world. A god or a demon bestows a boon on some poor sap, forgetting to mention that there's always a price. So you're saying that my magic stopped working because my soul knew I was a bad guy? No, it hasn't happened yet. Someone else decided to speed things up just to get your attention. Who? The gun. Margaret did? You know, she's worried about you. Worried about what you might become. I am not turning evil! Oh, really? Tell me how often you use your powers selfishly. It is obviously I who should be president. <laughs> I am the man who defeated Pyramid Head. I am the man who conquered Countdown. How many people have you threatened or lashed out against unreasonably? You what? 90s character ringer! I have a spaceship! Oh, sweet Jesus! Oh, how I do love owning a spaceship. How many times did you worry about your own problems before anyone else's? I'm only a temp now. Yeah, life's tough all over. I need some information. So what are you going to be doing while I'm risking life and limb? Don't worry, I'll be doing the most important job of all. Reviewing a crappy Elseworlds comic. And how many times did you arrogantly assume that your solutions were the right ones? Your answers were the only answers? Yeah, but I thought Vigilant was the name that the people voted for. Yes, but it's not their ship, now is it? But kid, I really- Harvey! I know you're worried about me, but this is the only way. Do you ever ignore the suffering of others? But anyway, so I filled it up with gravy, and then I just tried to kind of marinate it with a bunch of cheese and whatnot. Or are you just off in your own little world when others are trying to get you to listen for just five damn minutes? And of course, the thing I appreciate most about occasions like this are the people. Oh, so aside from the review, I was clearly nothing like that other Linkara. Right. Our actions and our thoughts shape who we are, and yours are not shaping up to be the ones of a hero. I suggest you go home and take some time to ponder who you really are, because you are going to need to help yourself. I can't imagine that even if Todd Lauren had lived, that this thing would have survived much longer. I mean, who wants to follow a fictional story where the main character is just a douchebag who you can never relate or sympathize with? Oh, that reminds me. Nimue, we need to reposition Comicron 1. Is it you? Yep. How are you- Does it matter? Well, I'd love to talk to you more often like this, if it's possible. Don't worry about that right now. It's not important. Okay. I've made a real mess of things, haven't I? Yeah. Well, what am I supposed to do? Act like a goody two-shoes all the time? Never raise my voice to anybody? Never get angry at anything? Never lie or make mistakes or take a shortcut to anything? Of course not. No one's perfect. Well then what the hell do you want from me? I, I just don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do to make things right again? I want you to be better. Oh, that's helpful. You're aware of it now. Aware of what could happen to you. 
Yes. I've been holding back because I haven't been certain about you. About what you could do if I really cut loose. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe Aplos is right and I really am going evil. Maybe you should use that power you have and snuff me out before I get worse. You're my partner. You're my friend. You don't leave your friend behind when they're in trouble. You try to help them. Try to make them better. And if you can't help me? Then at least I made the effort. What's the next step? Just be mindful. Try to think a little bit more and be more aware of things. I'll try. Doing is better than trying. True that. I think I'm ready to go home. I'm already home. Oh my god. Oh. I, I'm a hologram! How do I get drunk? Oh. Marvel again. Oh jeez. All right, I'm not even sure how a hologram can sleep, but he is sleeping. We should be able to talk in peace. We gotta do something about that guy before he kills us all. Well, going at him half-cocked with a pistol isn't going to work, as you found out. Yeah, I admit it. That was knuckleheaded of me. At the very least, I should have aimed for that doodad that powers him, but I was just being too hot-headed. It wouldn't have made much of a difference even if you had shot at the mobile emitter. How do you figure? The hologram is a combination of light projection and force fields. He is able to project the force field around the mobile emitter to protect it from harm. I don't suppose you have any sciency crap to help out with that, do you? Nothing specifically designed to take it out, but I think we do have a chance with a frontal assault. I thought you just said going in with pea shooters ain't worth the effort. We'll need larger, more powerful guns. He's impervious to harm, but he's not undefeatable. Like any other electronic object, he relies on energy. If we drain his energy banks, then he's vulnerable. Continued, sustained attacks will do it. It's just we need to survive to see it through. I haven't pulled out the Tommy gun in a while. This'll be a good time. Excellent! We'll need 90s kids' help as well. I don't think he's in any shape for that. Rob Liefeld's not doing comics anymore! <laughs> oh. I don't get it. He only has Diet Coke in that thing. How is he drunk? I've learned not to question these things. Just get him sobered up and ready. Then I'll be prepared to do my part. You got it, big eyes. You know what? I bet that gunslinger mook is responsible for all this. He's probably just waiting right now, buying his time for the right time to attack. Well, that could have gone better. Hello, Master. It's good to see you again. Oh. Yeah. Good to hear from you too, Sierra. How long was the time dilation? A factor of 20, Master. 20? Ah! Please steady yourself, Master. You're still acclimating. I know. I know. It took a nasty hit from that fellow's gun, too. Medical scans indicate high toxicity in your bloodstream. I would humbly suggest you sit down while I administer medication in the air supply. Right. Ugh. That, that universe is poison to the core. I mean, I was only there for a couple of minutes and I was losing focus. I am pleased to report, Master, that the readings you came back with are very thorough. I should be able to extend your ability to withstand the universe immensely. Yeah, good to hear. 
So factor 20, huh? We really are off the beaten path this time. So how long was I going in their time? Approximately three months, Master. I am already making calculations to adjust for the dilation. That fella has experience with shootouts, Sierra. Were you able to make him angry? Yes and no. I... He seemed more annoyed than anything. Still, I'm sure I can make this work. Begging your pardon, Master, but I've accessed records within this universe. It might be a better course of action to avoid this one. Why do you say that? This individual and his weapon. He apparently defeated Lord Vice. This guy tangled with Vice? And succeeded, Master. Perhaps it would be best if we attempted to challenge someone less formidable. Nah, if this guy really did take out Vice. That makes it even more important that we get this gun up to full power. After all, it is the last one we need. special body just for that reason. Ah. Poyo, you okay? I'm fine, on the end. I think I'll take a nap now. Well, it's up to me then. Oh, hey, there you are. Power levels are dropping, but not quite enough. Say, Link Sano, did you know that Linkara set up a whole bunch of emergency procedures to prevent this sort of thing from happening? <laughs> like, say, emergency procedure three, activate. Yeah, the force field technology came from Comicron One, you know. Honest to God, look at you dumbasses. Did you really think you had a shot here? There is not a single person here who can stop me. Hell, there is not a single person on Earth who can stop what I've begun. Oh, I don't know. I think I might know a guy. Ah, good, you're here. Uh, listen, this probably requires some explanation. Poyo has gotten me up to speed using his short-range transmitter. I presume you're responsible for the communications breakdown? Ah, uh, no, actually. We lost contact with you about a month or so ago. We suspected some sort of malfunction on board Comicron 1. The Cybermats are looking into it. I see. Ugh. Be careful, Inkara! He knows how to use his hologram form Computer, to- Computer, deactivate emergency reviewing hologram! Wait, let me explain. You guys did know you could just do that, right? Is everybody okay? Oh, I've been better. Ugh, good thing that idiot doesn't know how to set the bazooka. How is he? I think he'll be fine. Don't worry, Funshine Bear. We'll stop no heart. I take it your magic piece is working again? Yep. And I think the same can be said about the enchantments on this place. Otherwise, I presume we'd be seeing a lot more bullet holes in the walls. It's good to have you back, kid. Well, it's good to be back. Wait, it's Monday, isn't it? Yep, all day. 
then I have a review to do. Linksano, do what you can for Poyo. I'm on it! Ah, so, hello and welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burn. Say, do you remember how Batman hates rock and roll? Batman Jazz is a three-issue miniseries, and maybe we'll get back to it eventually. In the meantime, though, I need to clear my thoughts about that. Oh my god, what the hell was that at the end? Emergency Procedure 5, execute! Locking us in. We need to talk. You don't seem surprised that I'm online. You're based on my brain patterns and personality. It's in your nature to make backup plans. Oh yeah, and I sincerely doubt you'll be able to undo this. Linkara, the hologram is online again. But don't worry, we've already figured out how he backed up his program. Poyo and I are working to shut him off permanently. Ah, hell. And I've blocked his signals to Poyo. We should have him offline shortly. Well, poop. Thanks for the update, Link Sano. Keep at it. So... Here we are. You know you can't take me in a fight. Maybe. Or maybe the magic gun has become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Now just tell me what the hell you want. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? It's all about power. The power to do good. We have the power to do so much good. We have it sitting in orbit, but we're too afraid to use it. What are you talking about? Nimue? Online. What is your status? Comicron 1's weapons are charged and directed at the provided coordinates. What coordinates? New York City. Specifically, Marvel Entertainment. You're gonna murder everyone. No! We're not gonna murder anybody! We are going to save Spider-Man! An ultimatum. We issue a very specific statement. They start working on a story to reverse one more day, keeping us apprised of its progress, or we level their offices. If Spider-Man can't be saved, then let him at least die with dignity! I... Would you just think about it? We have the power to fix things! No more heroes making deals with the devil! No more proactive superhero teams! No more characters killed off for meaningless shock deaths! No more half-assed reboots or retcons! They keep claiming to be guardians and shepherds of these characters, yet do nothing but hurt them! Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, Blue Beetle, the X-Men, they're all bigger than us! They were here before us, and they'll be around long after we're dead! Superheroes are our mythology, with a life of their own, with power to inspire beyond even real people! But time after time, our heroes, the characters we look up to, get squandered, or have injustices heaped on them! What's well, about damn time someone corrected this? The creators have proven what they really are! They're the villains! So it's about damn time that we be the heroes and save these characters! You... You want to save these characters. You want to show the world that superheroes mean something more than just something to be retconned or wrecked. But in the end, all you're doing is threatening people if you don't get your way. That doesn't make you a hero. That makes you a bully. You're trading one person's imposed stories for your imposed stories. Damn it, all this is too important. Look at what all these horrible comics have done to us, having to deconstruct these stories again and again, and nothing ever changes. No, we will win through eventually. We win hearts and minds. We convince people we're right. We don't force people to accept we're right, and we sure as hell don't put a gun to their heads and say, accept it or die. Damn it, we have to do this! We have to- Inkara, we've isolated his program and can short-circuit the emitter. They'll never change unless we make them change. Doc, fry him. So, have we been able to figure out what was wrong with the hologram? 
There was nothing wrong with it at all. It was doing exactly what it was supposed to do. Dude, he reached inside my chest and squeezed my heart like a mad ball! The hologram was based on my memories and my mental patterns. It's entirely likely that if I hadn't left and found out all this stuff about myself, that I'd be the one with my finger on the button ready to shoot Comicron One's weapons down. Fortunately, I have some good friends who know when to give me a swift kick in the ass. I've got to admit, kid, I don't buy it. I mean, how many times have you saved the world now? You ain't evil. The road to hell is paved with good intentions, fine voice. The funny thing about morality is that you can justify anything if it's in the pursuit of a greater good. It's all a matter of where you draw the line. I'm not particularly happy about the things I found out about myself. But, in the end, it has made me doubly determined to make sure that it doesn't happen to me. What I would like to know is why Nimue didn't shut off the hologram when all this started. Nimue, you're programmed with ethical subroutines to prevent this kind of thing from occurring! This unit apologizes. There have recently been a series of malfunctions throughout the vessel that cannot be explained at this time. A diagnostic of this unit's core program may be advised. We'll get to work on that as soon as possible. The gunslinger is still out there, and the fact that they've been so quiet lately worries me. So, this little journey of yours, that's it? You walked from one side of the country to the other just to find the wizard who told you to get your act together? No, this journey has reassured me that I'm not going to turn evil. How's that, dude? When the hologram started to turn on you guys, what happened? You all rose to the occasion, helped each other, and tried like hell to protect yourselves together. I can think of no people better suited to stand by my side and keep me from turning evil. Now come on! I'm back and I'm taking all you guys to Dairy Queen! I thought you spent all your money during your journey. And by me, I mean Poyo's taking us to Dairy Queen! And the seeds of evil are planted. Oh, bite me, it's fun! One man's trash is another man's treasure. Unfortunately, this month has only just begun, my friends. Twenty years before the prequel movie, there was a sequel. In comic form. Huh. I wonder what that is. Well, maybe we'll find out next week. Warning. An unauthorized entity has entered the area, attempting to seal within containment. Nimue? Nimue, report! Kid, what's going on? I don't know. Nimue just said there was an intruder. What? I'll get my gun! Nimue, what's your status? If Nimue is disabled, that means the main computer is offline as well! Computer, switch to secondary command processors! Computer! That sounds like we're cut off, kid. Then let's get the hell out of here. I'm not risking a confrontation when the emergency procedures aren't in place. Uh, dudes? That may be a problem! Please do not tell me you're pushing it. Dude, the door won't open! And it is unlocked! Everybody stand back! Oh crap, the protection spell, I forgot! I can't do any damage to this place either! Don't worry, we'll get an axe or something and we'll bust it down. Won't work, the enchantment protects it from physical harm as well. Linksano, the communicator you made. You said if you hit the button three times, it'll send an emergency signal to Comicron 1 to beam us up. Unfortunately, after you returned, I brought the communicator up to the ship to try to find out why we lost contact with you. It's not here. Well, no problem. You can use one of your other communicators, the ones you used your voodoo on, like the Star Trek one or the Power Rangers one. Those won't be any good either, unfortunately. The main computer is tied into them as a relay point. Without the computer... Well, signal won't be strong enough to reach orbit. Dude, let me see if I get this straight. 
We're stuck in your apartment. We have no way of booking out of here. No way of contacting the outside world and getting some backup. And there's some thing in here with us. Yeah. That about sums it up. Arm yourselves. Childs, you can't let us go in there. If those people become contaminated... Relax, Mac. It's all been taken care of. Turns out if we just show someone who's infected toddlers in tiaras, they immediately surrender themselves to be burned. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. This takes place in 1982. They haven't seen that crap yet. Uh, something from the 80s. Uh... Ah, hold on. I know someone who owes me a joke. So am I Craig, or Vincent, or whatever the hell I was called in outer space? My life is confusing. Ooh. Hello? Hey, Cinema Snob, I'm reviewing a crappy sequel comic to The Thing, and I need an 80s reference. Pfft. Well, that's easy. You got uh, 1980 Galactica, TJ Hooker, Manimal, Auto Man, The Master, uh, Hawaiian Heat, take your pick. Galactica 1980, gotcha, thanks. Turns out if we just show someone who's infected Galactica- Wait a second. I'm trapped in my apartment and I can just call the outside world! No signal! The hell?! Any luck? <sighs> Unfortunately, no. Yes, I can link several communication devices together to create a signal strong enough to reach orbit, but I keep running into the same problem. There just isn't enough power to signal a teleport. And that's assuming that whatever is keeping us here isn't also blocking the communications channels. After all, Poyo was on board Comicron 1 when this all went down, and by now he should have figured out something's wrong. Dude, didn't you say you were going to work on getting the protection spell down so we can, like, bust through the doors? I've been trying, but unfortunately, the book only talks about casting the thing, not dispelling it. I tried taking the hinges off the doors, thought that something that simple might be overlooked, but the screws wouldn't budge. I think I stripped them, too. It was a good idea to try anyway. What about the main computer, Link Sano? Didn't you say you found a way to get it back online? I tried for six hours before I gave up on it. The main relays are just too badly damaged to bypass. Yeah, I bet you're working real hard on fixing it. I mean, you've been such a big help so far. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. But I ain't a tech whiz, and I don't know anything about the kid's magic voodoo whatever, so I've had a lot of time to stand around here and think the last few days. I just find it kind of funny that the guy who's supposed to be the scientific advisor around here seems to be pretty crappy at anything scientific. What the hell are you talking about? You were the one who sent the kid out on a wild goose chase for Dr. Insano when his magic went haywire. You started working on a gun for the kid when he decided to go traveling around, but you never got the thing to work right. And it was your communicator that cropped out on him when we needed to call him. For someone who's supposed to be such a scientific genius, you don't do much around here but screw up! There's always a margin for error in science, you crooning craphead! Not to mention that ever since the Buckethead escaped from that universe we sent him to, you haven't had any incentive to help us anymore! Harvey, Nimue has been keeping a close eye on him this entire time. And even without Vice, there's still the possibility that we could exile him. Yeah, Nimue was watching him. Until her speakerphone went broke. He's been alone on the ship lots of times. He could have screwed around with her circuits anytime. Assuming, of course, 
He's really who he says he is. What are you blathering about? It happened with the idiot last year. The entity possessed him, and it wasn't that doofus walking around. I'm not an idiot. Maybe Vice was right, and he didn't die in the idiot. Maybe he just jumped ship. I'm not an idiot! Harvey, stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I am not an idiot, fine voice! And you're not half as smart as you think you are! Indeed! For someone who throws around words like idiot, you haven't been particularly helpful to the cause! All you do is wave your tommy gun around! In fact, when this all started, you left the room to get that useless anachronism! All of you, quit it! You gotta listen to Link Sano! He could be tricking us! He could be the entity! He could be one of those things from those comics that you're reviewing that pretends to be someone else! Dudes, the entity is dead! It's like fried! Oh yeah, and you'd be the expert, right? You know, maybe the entity didn't jump ship. Maybe we should be looking at the guy who was possessed last year and almost killed everyone! You leave the apartment all the time to go on gigs! And yeah, I bet lounge singers are really popular since rock and roll got like six decades on you! Do you even listen to the crap coming out of your mouth? Better than the crap coming out of your mouth, fine voice! Assuming that's who you really are! This isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together in order to- And you! You left us alone for three months with a psycho hologram that almost offed us! Did you even think of a way to let us shut him down if things got bad? There was a way. You could have turned him off the entire time. Yeah, right. Or maybe you're not who you say you are. Oh, come on! The mobile emitter was gone the next day! An intruder got inside and took it. Nimue wasn't able to identify who it was. And even then, it was never switched on again inside the apartment. Yeah, somebody got in. But you'll notice that the intruder alarms didn't stop blaring when he did. Maybe somebody let them in. You know, I should be accusing all the rest of you. After all, I've been gone the last few months. Any one of you could have let that intruder in. And that's assuming that you came back at all. What? We were out of contact with the kid for almost a month. Maybe he never made it home. Maybe you're something else entirely. And yet you're the one throwing accusations out against everybody else. 90s kid is right. You do leave for months at a time without telling us where you're going. And you're the one who keeps trying to pit us all against each other. But he does have a point, Doc. You have been remarkably unhelpful. You know, maybe I should have picked someone else to be my scientific advisor. I know no, more than you. Know, you know, the you Hello and welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall, where it's our four year anniversary! Ah, uh, it's been four years since I started this happy little show. A show that has brought me nothing but joy. Why does it work? Ah! This exploitive, badly written trash! Why are they making me review this? Why? Somebody said how! These comics suck! This piece of crap sucks! Of course it isn't! This comic sucks! Why the hell am I still doing this? Well, thank goodness for that. For a second there, I was worried he might do something to try to make him seem intimidating. Greetings, you foolish fool. Who the hell are you? I am a mysterious new enemy for you. You may call me Mysterior. Why are you my enemy? Oh, I could tell you that, but it's much more fun for everybody if you just figure it out on your own. No, it isn't. Yes, it is, for it is a mystery, and you need to solve the mystery of why I hate you, because it is better to solve the mystery! 
Look. I have mysterious glasses. If you have a good reason for not telling me, or you just don't care, or think I'll understand, that's fine, but you can't just say it's for fun! Foolish, fooling fool! It ruins the mystery if I give all the answers, and I am far too mysterious for that. For I am... Mysterio! The mystery doesn't matter if nobody gives a damn about it, and so far you're not giving me any reason why I should care! I am far too mysterious to waste any more time on you. I am going to be mysterious over there! Mysterio! Because that's what this storyline needed! Some other mysterious asshole whose motivations are unclear and don't make any damn sense when they're finally explained. Greetings, Linkara! Mysterior? No! I am a totally new character! Mr. Enigma! What happened to Mysterior? He got bored of being mysterious and just kind of wandered off somewhere, but now I am the new mysterious character full of new mysteries! And you're gonna be my enemy or something? Maybe, maybe not. You don't know either way. I am that mysterious. I have mysterious powers like pulling skulls from nowhere. Whose skull could it be? Isn't that the skull that Phyllis said belonged to the Nostalgia Critic? Maybe, maybe not. It's a mystery. Except it really isn't, because the Nostalgia Critic merged with that plot hole and became a Muppet or something. I, I, I don't know, I was in a closet for a lot of that. It could be the Nostalgia Critic's skull. Maybe the Nostalgia Critic who joined with the plot hole was a clone! <laughs> Maybe the skull is from a clone! That just sounds overly complicated and stupid! But it's so mysterious! You know, I'm currently trapped in my apartment, and I should really ask for your assistance, but I've got a feeling you wouldn't be much help anyway. I could be. You don't know. No one knows! Mysterious! Never call me again! Or I'm a moron! <laughs> what? Oh, Where am I? What's going on? <laughs> Well, um, now you see why I don't do that joke as much anymore. And that's a lesson that I need to take to heart. I've got some friends out there who I need to put aside my mistrust with and... Oh, for the love of... Mysterio or whoever is calling. I guess I just need to save my reconciliation with my friends for next time. Mysterious! <sighs> Guys, we need to talk. Whoever you are, there ain't nothing left to talk about. I want to apologize. You three can feel free to not trust me. After everything that's happened, that's more than fair. But right now, I know that I am who I say I am. And I have to trust that you're all who you say you are. This thing doesn't want to show itself. It wants to hide and make us all destroy each other. And if it is hiding, that suggests that it's vulnerable out in the open. If we fight each other, maybe even kill each other, then it'll have no more enemies left. And it'll have won. Even if you really are Linkara, it doesn't change anything. We're still stuck here, and Big Eyes hasn't figured out a way to get us out! Bite me, fine voice! And it doesn't change all the things that you did by leaving us all here with the hologram! It was a mistake. I'm sorry. I should have- Yeah, 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 you should have. I'm hearing a lot of should haves, but not about what you actually did do. God damn it, Harvey. Don't you get it? We have to work oh, together. Oh, we're going to get into this right away. Your problem is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you ever remember. That's all you ever remember. I don't know why you're trying to 
to deal with this all the time. I am trying to get us you around and get a trust where they are supposed to get on this. If all we're going to do is throw our hands up and pick one another, I just don't get this. You're not even listening to a single word I'm saying. Stop the little adventure. I'm bored. I'm just rambling to nothing. I don't even know what we're supposed to be doing. Then the people I'm with. Ladies, get catch! Yeah, screw you too! the hell was that thing? I'm... I'm not sure. It, it looked kind of like one of the shades from Vice's ship. Or those cloak goons. Warning. Intruder alert. Nimue! You're online? Intruder alert. There is an intruder present. Took you long enough. Guys! Hold it! Who the hell are you? Just someone doing what he has to. I take it you're responsible for what's been happening? You ask a lot of questions, don't you? I picked that thing up a few months ago when I was fighting another guy with a gun. Thought it might come in handy. It loosens people's inhibitions a bit. It really gets the rage going and feeds off of it. And you still want my magic gun? <laughs> Has that ever changed? Still. Not until it's good and ready. Ready? Oh. It is ready. You've been busy these last few months, haven't you? I don't even have to get you mad. What the hell are you talking about? You unlock like the gun's full potential, can't you feel it? It's definitely right for picking. So you gonna do this the easy way? Or the hard way? As hard as lead, bucko! <laughs> Nimoy! Emergency procedure four on the intruder! <laughs> I think it's time you explained yourself, asshole. Don't have the time. I think I'll take my leave now. That gun will be mine soon enough. I hear you took out Vice. Probably makes you a good guy. I'd ask for your help if I could, but... Trust me. It just wouldn't work out. Nimoy, stop him! Unable to comply. Hey. Hey, kid. You missed the meeting. I didn't think it'd be good for me to be there. Did you guys figure out how Nimue came back up? Poyo and Linksano suspect that she was never offline to begin with. There's no damage to the apartment's computer. That shadow creature probably screwed around with our own perceptions, made us think that we couldn't leave, and we couldn't hear Nimue over the sounds of our own yelling. Well, that's just peachy. Are you okay? No, kid, I'm not. You see, it doesn't matter if those perceptions were fake or anything. Everything I said to you and the others, that was real. I was really that angry at you about the hologram thing. I was ready to put a bullet between your eyes. But you didn't, and that's what's important. No, the fact that I was willing to is what's important. I need to get away from this for a while, kid. I, I need some time to think. I've got a concert tour that'll take me all over the states for a bit. I, I think that'll help. <sighs> if that's how you feel. You think you'll be back for Christmas at least? We'll see. Harvey? For whatever it's worth, I am sorry about the hologram. Last month, before this all started, I said that I knew that I would not turn evil because you guys would be by my side. That opinion has not changed. Fly me to the moon and let me go.
boys, how we fine boys, how we fine boys. I am the ghost of- ah, Jesus Christ! Who the hell are you and what do you want? Fucking hey man, I'm the ghost of Christmas past! That's ball hockey! The kid met the ghost of Christmas past once! It was some chick who was glowing white! There's more than one of us, you moron! It's not like fucking Santa Claus! There's not, like, one person who can go around and see every jerk for being a jerk in one night! <sighs> Wait a second, I know who you are! You're the nostalgia critic! I heard you merged with a giant plot hole in space and turned into a Muppet. Yeah, the Muppet thing comes and goes. Shouldn't you be busy, like, controlling the universe or something? Well, I still do that, but it doesn't pay the bills now, does it? I took the Ghost of Christmas past thing so I can make a living. Look, I appreciate the effort, but I got a million problems right now and Christmas ain't one of them, so skedaddle. Well, while the Ghost of Christmas Past is the official title, we deal with a wide range of people who need a good kick in the ass. And your name came up, Mr. Fine Voice. Thanks, but I, I don't think you can help me. You're worried about Linkara, aren't you? What do you know about the kid? Well, I know he's a high-pitched and easily comic book nerd who always likes to sing and sends his robotic duplicate when we really need him. Story of my life. But that's at the point. You have to start trusting him again. Trusting him again? Yeah, that's actually pretty easy. I don't trust myself around him anymore, frankly. How did you even meet him? Well, that starts a few years back. Hello and welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burn. Archie has been going on for... Uh, okay, I can't keep doing this. Look, I, I don't even know how anyone can like this show if you can't hear me. So, from now on, I'm going to start speaking up. You know, you can't see half of my face right now. There. See? Now you can see me, the futon, and my glorious wall behind me in crystal clarity. I hope I never have to leave this wall. Imagine me doing this show without it. <laughs> So, anyway, Archie, I don't know, there's just something about this comic that feels disconnected from Christmas. So, yeah, where the hell were you during all of that? I was doing what I had been doing for half a year by that point. Looking at a cemetery and not going in closer to see my son. Oh. Oh. Yeah. How old was he? It doesn't really matter. It's always too young. My wife left me after he died, and frankly, I don't blame her. Our son was gone, and I was a wreck. I hadn't done a concert in months, and I had barely spoken to her in all that time. The kid found me lying on the sidewalk when he was filming himself getting pumped up for his Amazon's attack review and got me some help. Talked to a head shrinker, stopped drinking, went back on the lounge circuit. The kid saved me, really. I made sure to always have Charlie's back. Charlie? My... Linkara. Harvey, where do you think you are right now? I'm talking to the fashion-challenged critic who stopped getting dressed halfway into it. No, that's not it at all. But I do think my time is over now. Good luck, Harvey. Wait, what? What, what, what are you... Hello, Mr. Ah! Fine Voice! Did my appearance startle you? No, I just like to yelp in surprise all the time. Jeez! Oh, I'm sorry. I just have a habit of being here. Yeah, I take it you're the ghoul of Christmas present? That would be me. Look, I'm really not in the mood for all this mumbo jumbo, so why don't we just skip it, okay? Okay. What, no argument? Well, what's the point in arguing? I can't force you to do anything. Oh. Okay. Okay, then take me back to my hotel room. I would, but I'm not the one who brought you here. What? What, what are you- Hello and welcome- A CRIMINY! Yeah, I don't think we should interrupt. So, like I said back in the Brave and the Bold number 54 video, next year I'm gonna do a retrospective on my favorite era of the Titans. But we should also do something other than just their origins. In this case, talk about the Fab Five, the original five team members. And what do you know, in the original run on the Titans comics, they had a Christmas issue.
Well, Christmas is next Monday, and hopefully it'll be a lot groovier than this comic. Jeez, my kid sure knows how to pick them. Your kid? The kid. Mr. Fine Voice, where do you think you are right now? You're all in black. I gotta tell you something, Daddy-o. I'm a little tired of all this cryptic crap. You wanna start dragging me around everywhere? That's fine, but I'm not gonna be talking to the Grim Reaper while I'm doing it. So you better give me a face of someone I can actually have a conversation with, or else we're gonna find out if a ghost can take a beating. Kid, is that you? Think of me as a future echo of what I could be. What I will be. I hate the beard. Shut up! What's that over there? Oh no! It's my gravestone! This entire thing has been a complete waste of time, you know that? The ghost of Christmas past shows me what I was like a few years ago. Well, whoopity do! You do realize that the past makes up who I am today, right? There's no point in bringing me down memory lane when I already remember all this crap! And then there's the present! Oh, wowie, wow, wow! It's almost like I'm already living that right now, you mook! What good is done by showing me that? Now we have you, the future. And what is the future? I'm gonna die. Of course I am. I'm gonna die. 90s kid is gonna die. The ninja style dancer is gonna die. The little blue robot is gonna die. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die and leave when we shouldn't. So what the hell do you get out of showing me that I'm gonna die, huh? Harvey, where do you think you are right now? But you're always here. I didn't bring us here. You did. <laughs> you have no goddamn idea what it's like. Would you say goodbye? Would you say goodbye? Could you? There's someone out there. Just like the one you lost. But I'm not your son. You have to accept that. You have to say goodbye. How can you ask me that? When you walked away for three months, do you know what that was like? It was like losing him all over again. I was so mad. I was so 
mad that he left me again. Harvey, I'm not who you want me to be. I'm never going to be him. You have to let him go. When do you let this stuff go? When are you supposed to stop moving on? Well, what better time than Christmas? This is where you are right now. Where do you want? Where do you need to be? Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. I just got here. Well, dude, what are you waiting for? Come on! It's Christmas! It's a time to be merry and happy and spend time with your family and all that crap! It's time to be thankful! Come on! Yeah. Yeah. I will hold you close in a thankful... Wait a second, all my stuff is still back at that hotel! Ooh. Snowflame is the ghost of Christmas. Ooh. Past, present, or future? Snowflame has no concept of time! Ooh. You really have nothing better to do, do you? Snowflame needs more friends! Ooh. Even if it's not officially spoken, I think it's pretty much guaranteed that the promised continuation of this series is never going to come. Though we still have several more issues to go for what was printed. However, I'm really not in the mood anymore. Out of my way, poorly written comic! Linkara, this is Poyo Onboard Comic Run 1. We're ready to start and over all of the security systems here and in the apartment. Good! Then we won't have any more problems with intruders. Dancer reports that he is ready to lead the assault with an armada of Cybermats. Good, tell him to stand by. Now where the hell is the gunslinger? Sensor scans are underway. However, it has proven difficult to track the gunslinger on previous occasions. Don't you give me that horse crap right now, Nimue! You are the computer of the most advanced warship in the universe! You'll find him, goddammit! Poyo! Linksano! 
coordinate with Nimue! I want this son of a bitch found! If we look at Youngblood again next year, at least it'll be off to a fresh start with a new storyline. Because honestly, I can't understand how anyone liked this back in the day! Information. The gunslinger has been located. Coordinates are being fed to navigation. Bring me up! Report! We've only found him because he's dimension jumping, Linkara! It's putting out a lot of energy! Pursuit course! Give it everything you've got! Confirmed. Show me the enemy vessel! Like Sano, I presume you've ironed out all the bugs of the ship's refit? Things didn't exactly go well the last time I fought against a frickin' house! All taken care of, Linkara! Light em up! Good. Hail the enemy vessel. Wait, kid! Are you sure you want to give away that we're following him? I know this ship can go a bit stealthier if it needs to. It can, but I sure as hell don't want to. I want the son of a bitch to know I'm coming. Hail him! Hailing frequencies open. Surrender your vessel or you will be fired upon! This is your only warning! Information. The enemy vessel is increasing speed. Match speed and lock weapons on target! Lock and load, kid. Just give the word. Fire neutron blasters! Aft shields of the enemy vessel have been reduced by 12%. They're firing back! Damage report! Force wall absorbed 90% of the impact. No appreciable damage. Harvey, I think the gunslinger needs to see just what he's up against. Right, kid? Fire and forward lance! Aft shields of the enemy vessel have been reduced by 50%. What the hell's happening? Information. Malfunction in weapons systems. Lixano, what's going on down there? I, I don't know! Circuits in the communication system have overloaded! Then why the hell are the weapons being affected? I don't know! I'm getting malfunction reports from several unrelated systems! Whatever is going on, it's not what happened when you were fighting against Turl! Harvey, do we still have weapons? Yeah, but power's dropping like cement! Information. Enemy vessel is accelerating. Harvey, give it everything you've got! Punch a hole in their shields! You got your hole, kid, but weapons are down. Nimue, prep the ninja-style dancers assault force and me along with them! Information. Teleportation systems have been affected by power drain. Are they offline? Negative. Teleportation system is functioning, but there is insufficient power at this time to send over more than one person and a smaller being. Poyo, up for a trip? I would prefer to do it in a body built for combat, but I don't think we're going to finish my new body in the next two minutes. I'll take that as a yes. Nimue, teleport us over! Confirmed. <laughs> Engineering the bridge! We're beginning to lose engine power down here! The enemy ship is getting out of range! Nimue, do it now! Look for an interface to their computer. See if you can hack in and cut their engines. I'm on it. is a house inside, too. Jeez, guess some people really do want the comforts of home along with them. I've interfaced with a computer and I'm downloading information now. Good, I'll... <sighs> this guy's got quite a collection. Indeed. Several files make specific references to them. He even seems to make video logs of his encounters. 
download them. I want every piece of information we can gather on this guy. I am reviewing them now. <laughs> I'm keeping you. Um, Lankara? I wonder if he's been gathering these things from other universes. I mean, they're pretty varied in design here. Get out of my house. Boyo, little help! Oh look, I have found the gravity controls. Boyo, get the ship turned around! Doing so, the artificial intelligence is not very sophisticated. You are a very rude machine. Maybe, but you're still not very sophisticated. Navigation systems hacked and redirected. Zara! Gravitational redirection! Your mother was a ColecoVision. And yours was an Amstrad pen pad. Nimoy, get us out of here! Unable to comply. Power reserves have not completed sufficient recharge. I said, get out of my house! And there's gravity control again. And I lost it. I am not that unsophisticated, Blueberry. Looking for this? No! The hell? Information. The enemy vessel has returned to our universe. Comicron 1 pursued, and this unit was able to beam you back to Earth. Good work, Nimoy. Poyo, this guy's gonna be coming back any second now. I need any information you have on him. I am accessing his log entries now. I'm going through them at advanced speed. He is... Oh dear. What? What is it? The gunslinger. He's... <laughs> Watch. Give it back. Now. Try it, asshole, and it's fried. No, you can't. I can't? You invade my home. You attack me and my friends. You almost get us to kill each other. You perform kidnapping, and you want to tell me what I can't do? You, you don't understand. Well, that's what happens when you don't explain yourself. Wait, Lankara. No! This... Son of a bitch, I'll kill you! Not likely, you bleach blonde. Lankara, you idiot. What? He is not our enemy. What? The gunslinger's name is Jerus. He has been traveling to different universes trying to take magic guns for a reason. How do you know? His log entries are full of this information. Observe. My name is Jerus. I'm beginning this journal so that if I fail, if I die, that someone else is going to be inspired to, to pick up where I left off. It started about a few years ago. Legislation from government came down, and you know, it was supposed to protect the rights of the artists, but you know, that was just a sign of the things to come. I was just, uh, I was a critic on the internet, and when my work began to get curtailed, more and more laws just kept getting passed to make it worse. For years now. Pirates and criminals have used the internet to get away with wholesale theft of your creations. Now they can be stopped. This multinational initiative will ensure that your rights and your property are protected. If you express opinions contrary to, to what the government or its backers thought, then you were taken in the middle of the night and never seen again. And I was one of those. You have been found guilty by the state and you will be punished by the state. Protecting the people from your heresy supersedes all. Centurion, take him away! I was lucky, though. The Resistance attacked our prison and freed most of us. We got to work undermining their regime. 
but were not big enough to fight against the resources they had under their control. So I decided to find help. Before all this, I was an internet reviewer. I looked at music of all kinds, but I was lucky. I had access to things, you know, magic, technology. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to take on an empire, but it was enough to give me an idea. Now the world, or the universes, you know, I bet you they had people that could help me. To help end all this. I'm going to look for them, but I'm not going alone. My wife is still alive back home. We used the magics that I learned to create this, this link between us, this, this talisman, this weapon. It's powered by both of our souls together. As long as both of us are alive, this, this thing will keep on working. And I'll have something to fight for. He's a freedom fighter? This doesn't click. If he's a good guy, why didn't he just ASK for help? The reason came later. Observe. We're going home tomorrow. I mean, it's, it's, this is like the Magnificent Seven, but, you know, there's, there's, there's nine of us. Everyone's raring to go. Tomorrow we start the fight to take back my home. The others are confident, and they, they got all their own magic guns too, and... Man, I'm gonna enjoy the look on their faces when, when we come at them. They're all dead. They're all dead. It, some, some of them... Some of them died slowly, some of them... For hours they were, they were coughing and, and wheezing and, and struggling and, and then... And then they, then they, then they just died. It, Tanner and Yvette, they were, they were, they were gone in seconds. It's, the hell happened? Other dimensional travel is not as easy as just walking from one universe to another. Plenty of universes are similar enough that there won't be any adverse effects, but a lot of the time, some people just can't exist in another universe. It's poisonous to them. Different physical laws hit you when you least expect it. Happened to me once or twice in my travels before I figured out a device that let me dimension hop without worry of popping like a balloon. The locks continue. The others may be dead, but it ain't over. Some of their magic guns are still workable. Could still be used by others. With Sierra's help, I discovered that when the full power of magic gun is unlocked, it could be used by anybody. After doing more research, I found out the best way to do it. It's just great emotional stress. If you get someone pissed off, and I mean really pissed off, that gun's up for grabs. I have to decide what to do now. And while I may not have others, at least I can still use their guns to save my world. The gunslinger goes on to describe multiple battles he had with other people. He never deliberately killed anyone else after that, but he always managed to steal their guns after they were unlocked. What does this have to do with the pocket watch? While some universes will kill you if you step into them, other universes have a tendency to, well, assimilate you into them. And once you're a part of that universe, it's a hell of a lot harder to get back home without dying again. A device like that can act as an anchor, allowing you to exist in another universe temporarily, keeping yourself separated from that universe for short periods of time. If that device is destroyed or damaged, you either die instantly or, well, become so acclimated to the new universe that you've become permanently bonded with it. Just like with Vice in his suit. Couldn't he just make another one? Not that easy. The anchor needs to have been built in your own universe initially, and I can assure you that they're not easy to manufacture. So chances are he only had the one. If he's not dead yet, then chances are he's syncing up with our universe as we speak. And by destroying the watch, I've guaranteed he can never go home again. Oh, jeez. I, I need to contact him, apologize. Oh, right, yeah. I'm sure he'll really be in the mood to accept that. Well, damn it, I've got to do something. I... Report. Information. Neutro has launched. What? 
the Neutro robot has launched and is beginning to march towards Minneapolis. Who the hell launched it? Who could launch it? We have security protocols to prevent it from being stolen! We are receiving a transmission. Put it on! Peoples of the Earth, your Lord and Master has returned! <laughs> Dr. Insano! <laughs> My sincerest apologies, Master, but the acclimation process has concluded. I've been able to spare you the unpleasantness of it, but I'm afraid it is now irreversible. Based on my analysis, if you were to re-enter our home universe, you would be dead in seconds. What are your orders? We have lost the way. You may remember me as your former president, America, after I was impeached. And really, how was I supposed to know that prostitute was a cop? I began dreaming of something bigger and better. Conquest of the entire world! <laughs> Nimoy, deploy Neutro's shutdown sequence! Shutdown sequence has been deployed. The system is not responding. <laughs> you may also recall the most powerful robot ever built! Neutro! It's been out of my hands for a while now, but not anymore! The world governments will surrender to me, or I will level your cities! Although, I might just do that anyway! <laughs> How the hell did that psycho get a hold of Neutro? I'd sure as hell like to know! Nimue, you're supposed to monitor Neutro security along with everything else! This unit has been severely overtaxed this last year. Along with random malfunctions across Comicron 1, the continued observations of several individuals, regular maintenance, and searches for the previously unidentified gunslinger have forced this unit to relax certain security measures in order to stay functional. He could have been planning this for months, ever since he discovered you lost your magic, Linkara! If he had enough patience, he could have hacked into Neutro's systems, overridden its security protocols, and gotten in without any of us ever noticing. Then we've got to stop him before he does any more damage. Nimue, charge the forward lance. Slice that robot in half. Confirmed. Neutro robot is undamaged. It appears to have an energy shield. Insano has been busy. Neutro never had an energy shield before. We are being hailed by enemy robot. On screen! So link up! So, Linkara, how's that whole magic not working anymore thing working out for you? My magic was restored a few months ago, Insano. Surrender now and I won't use it to send your ass to hell! Oh, it's back, is it? Oh, that sucks. But still, does it matter? I've equipped Neutro with a negator! And thanks to this energy shield, I don't think even a Blitzball's going to keep me from fulfilling my destiny. You're crazy, you bastard! Really? Well, in case you forgot, Neutro was mine to begin with and you stole it from me! And you didn't even vacuum in here or dust or put an air freshener or anything. But it doesn't matter, because I'll clear the air myself with laser beams! <laughs> Can you beam me down there? Teleportation systems are unable to penetrate enemy robot shields. Can we get through to Angry Joe? Maybe get some reinforcements? Angry Joe Army Station is currently orbiting the other side of the planet. It would take several hours to maneuver into location on thrusters, and several hours to return to optimal teleport position. I can get through that shield in less than an hour, Linkara! I promise it! Then do so. Till then, there's only one thing I can do. Gather my thoughts. With a comic book. Star Wars 3D took its first step into a larger world. And probably should have stepped back. Engineering the bridge, I've got it! There's a weak point in the shielding that is open to us every few minutes. I can beam down one person and one small object. I'm ready, Linkara. No, Boyo. I have something else in mind. All right. Go and play.
my sig and this is taking forever to get anywhere. I really should have given Neutro some tennis shoes or something. Oh uh, well, look what the cat dragged in and vomited up. Insano, you know, you really don't have to do this. No, oh, but I kinda do. Otherwise, I'd have to turn in my mad scientist club card. And let me tell you, the other mad scientists can be real dicks about that kind of thing. Look, have you actually thought about what you would do after you took over the world? Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, have people fight in my gladiatorial arenas and have lots of kinky sex, just for starters. So, really, all you want is for people to fight for your amusement and to get laid, right? I have holodeck technology! You don't have to do any of this! Yeah, see? Here's the thing. Don't really give a crap about fake people. I heard you got that Linksano fellow to work for you, but I'm not Linksano! I want to rule the world! I will crush resistances, make people adore me, and make the world's currency Insano dollars. And if anyone tries to bitch at me about it, my robot army will crush them and serve them up as low-quality meat product! In other words, I'm Dr. Insano, bitch, and I'm going to rule the world! What the hell is going on? Oh, that would be my Cybermat getting drunk on Neutro's power systems. Strategy, you got all the tech that was on board, including the stuff that Yesu Otaku created! Power enhancing energy gloves. They increase your body strength by 1200%. Indeed! So, Linkara, you wanna go a few rounds? Come get some. Right. It's morphin' time. Oh, that had to hurt. Wanna try again, nerd boy? I'm just getting started, asshole. Excuse me, you're kind of interrupting our fight scene. Shut up! I can never go home again thanks to you. I can't help my friends, my family, my wife. I know, I know. I found out about your mission, and I'm sorry. A little late for sorry. Okay, look, obviously you two are having something of a lover's quarrel, so- uh Shut it! Jerus, I made a mistake. A horrible, terrible mistake, because I let my rage get the better of me. I realize that now. But I have resources. I have a ship in orbit with the best dimension crossing technology in the multiverse. And I have a crazy ass scientist who can help you get home. Him? His scientist couldn't make water if he stuck him in a room with a snowman and a blowtorch. Look, I may not know who you are, but I can definitely be of more help than that dingbat. I know about your mission, and I can help you. Join me, Full Metal Alchemist, 
And not only can we take this world, I can get you where you want to go, but with an army of robots to crush your enemies! I can't promise you success, but I'll sure as hell do everything I can to make it happen. I can promise you success! What the hell could either of you do to convince me that you're on the level? Take it. Take my ship if you have to, to free your world. You remind me of some people I don't like. Anyone who opposes me will be destroyed. Emergency Procedure 4, activate! You know, I think you need better force fields. Yeah, that has become very clear to me. <laughs> what have I to fear from you, worker ants? Scurrying about with your pitiful weapons, afraid of the purity of science! I am Dr. Insano, your Alpha and your Omega! I have defeated Time, Hypertime, and the worst Final Fantasy games ever! Eat death! You magical morons! This guy's tough. He really isn't. The gauntlets are his advantage right now. Can you distract him for a minute? My pleasure. When we last spoke, you said that you were holding back, that you could cut loose. Care to give a demonstration? Delighted. Nimue, beam this asshole out of my apartment! But why the hell didn't she just beam him out of there like that before? This unit was unable to get a lock on the intruder until the gauntlets were disabled. Yeah, you just kinda get used to that when it comes to Insano. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to get used to it. I wasn't lying to you before, Jerris. With the resources of Comicron 1, we can get you home, help you survive the trip, and help free your world. Why the hell would you help me? I've done nothing but make your life miserable since we first met. Because I was wrong about you. I don't think you're my enemy. I think you're my friend. And you don't leave your friends behind when they're in trouble. You try to help them. You try to make them better. I'm not ready to call you that yet. I wouldn't have needed to ask for help if you hadn't destroyed my watch. However, I will need your help. And you know where to find me. Ugh, sorry about Insano, man. He could be a real asshole. Yeah, considering he killed you that one time, you would know. Which reminds me, how many times have you died now? One, maybe three, depending on whose continuity you believe. You're a friggin' Time Lord, man. Well, don't pull that Doctor Who crap on me. Your frustration amuses me. Dude, you are evil. Somehow I doubt that. Still, thanks for keeping Insano on a leash again. I think he just needs to get out of the house sometimes to amuse himself. Hey, are you really going to help out that gunslinger guy? Yep. Linksano is working on trying to figure out the coordinates to his home universe. Apparently, the database in his ship is different from Comicron 1's. Mm. Do you really think you can trust him? The dude shot you in the back, and he stole guns for a living. Yeah, but he's not doing that anymore. And I think the fact that he didn't just take the gun and let Insano finish me says something. Maybe. Anyway, uh, I'll order the pizza, and meantime, I will kick your ass at Tekken. Do you always carry a controller around with you everywhere? Uh, yeah, because I'm the lord of Tekken. Alright, I'll be there in a minute. So is that blue in your hair? I can control how I look, and I got bored. 
So is this going to be a regular thing, you showing up around here? Not really, sorry. There are rules to magic and the forces you're playing with. And you're going to need to learn those rules for some of the things coming. Oh, what? Like some new evil on the horizon that I have to deal with? There's always a new evil. Fortunately, there's also a new hope. Wait, did you just do a Star Wars thing? Information. Throughout this last year, this unit has experienced several critical malfunctions that have interfered with normal operations. They are far too numerous and in specific areas to be mere malfunction. Initiating self-diagnostic to determine if the fault lies within this unit or inside... Self-diagnostic. Cancelled.